Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy the stock dude back with another hot video. And if you're new to this channel, I ask that you please take the time to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell. That way when the next video comes out, you'll be sure to be alerted and you won't miss a thing. But like I always tell you, I am not a stock expert, nor do I play one on YouTube. So anything you get from this channel or any other channel, make sure that you always do your own due diligence and make sure that you always do your own research before you put any of your hard earned money at risk. So check this out. I got a phone call from a buddy of mine, right? This will happen. And uh, I've been getting a lot of phone calls here lately. A lot of phone calls. But anyway, I got a phone call from a buddy of mine said that he had some extra money that he wanted to put to work in the stock market. And he's looking for a company or a few companies that he can invest in, maybe hold those shares for five, six years or so, and then possibly sell them at a higher price at a later date. So of course, like everybody else, he wants uh, well-run companies. He wants well-managed companies. And he wants a company that that's not too large, that still has room to grow. Because as we know, as a company grows, so does the price of the shares of stock. They grow as well in value. In other words, as the company grows, the price of the stock goes higher to reflect that growth. So I decided to uh, do a little research, do a little digging, also do a little reading. Now when I say reading, I'm not talking about reading a book. I'm talking about reading a stock chart because I don't do anything as far as investment goes. I don't do anything without reading a stock chart on a company that I'm potentially interested in investing in. Oh, incidentally, by the way, if you do not know how to read a stock chart, I made a video about that. And what I'm going to do is put a link in the description of this video that will enable you to watch that video if you don't already know how to read a basic stock chart. And if you don't, I suggest that you learn because reading a stock chart can save you a lot of money because it'll help you understand what's going on with the way that a company is trading as far as the price action ups, downs, the ebbs and the flows of a particular company. So reading that stock chart will help you tremendously. So like I said, I got a phone call from a buddy of mine and just like a lot of other people, he also wished that he would have found Tesla when it was trading at two or three dollars a share, Apple when it was trading at a few dollars a share, Netflix when it was trading at a few dollars a share, he wished that he had the opportunity to get in at an earlier price because now the prices of those stocks are very expensive. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's what this video is about because I got two puppies that I want to introduce you guys to that right now are trading at a lower price. Now, when I say two puppies, I don't mean actual puppies. What I mean is I got two companies where the prices of those companies to get in now is sort of small compared to what they can be in the future. And just like real puppies, you can get into these two stocks that I'm going to recommend to you now and you can put them in your portfolio and you can watch these puppies grow. Watch the prices of the stocks grow just like you watch real puppies grow 
and get bigger, you can watch this stock price of these companies that I'm going to give to you right now grow and get larger. So you can't say later, man, I wish I would have found that stock when it was cheap. Because in the future, a few years from now, these two puppies that I got, they're going to grow just like real puppies. And the prices of these two stocks is going to be a lot higher five, six, seven years from now than they are right now. So here is your chance to get into a stock at a lower price, hold it, and watch them puppies grow. All right, the first stock that I'm going to show you guys and introduce to you guys goes by the name of Applegee Enterprises Incorporated. Now, I got some notes, and I got a little information on Applegee because I know you guys probably hadn't really heard of that stock. Applegee Enterprises Incorporated is a company that's based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. And by the way, Applegee, this stock is a number one ranked stock. Number one ranked stock by another website that I use all the time by the name of Zax.com. Zax.com ranks Applegate Enterprises as a number one rated stock. Now, Zax.com's number one rated stocks generally outperform the broader market, namely the S&P. So when I say generally outperform, Zach's number one stocks actually crush the market averages by multiples of four and five times the amount you can gain more from getting one of these Zach's number one ranked stocks than you can if you just buy into a basic index fund. So in other words, when Zach's talks, stock do listen. Because from my research on Zax.com, I've seen that the stocks that they recommend as number one crush the regular market averages by far. It ain't even close. So Zax.com has ranked Applegee Enterprises Incorporated as a number one ranked stock. Now I'm going to read a little bit on Yahoo Finance about Applegee Enterprises, Enterprises Incorporated. It says that Applegee designs and develops glass and metal products and services in the United States, Canada, and also Brazil. The company operates in four segments, architectural framing systems, architectural glass, architectural services, and large scale optical technologies. This is a highly desired company. This is a well-run company. This right here is a little puppy that has plenty of room to grow. So when I said this is a desired company, you're probably wondering how I know. As I stated earlier, it's important to know how to read a stock chart because a stock chart can give you the full range picture of how a stock is trading. Now, when I said that it's highly desired, I'm going to take you to the bottom of the screen. As you notice right here on the bottom of the screen are the months of the year. Zero in right here in the middle of September. You see a big green volume spike. Next day, you see a bigger green volume spike. Then you also see a big red volume spike. And then right here near the end of September, you see a big, huge volume spike. Now look at the size of these volume spikes compared to what is normal. These right here are normal averages as far as stocks that are bought and sold on particular days. In the past, these uh, little volume spikes are very small. The average volume of Applegee is 200 and 
232,000 stocks are normally bought and or sold on any particular day within this company. But these big volume spikes right here, that's, that's big money. That's company money. That's hedge fund money. That's millionaire money. That's big, big, billionaire money. That's coming into Applegee Enterprises Incorporated. Now, let me ask you this. If millionaires and billionaires are interested in Applegee Enterprises Incorporated, my question is, shouldn't you be interested as well? Because the millionaires and the billionaires are the ones that make stock prices go higher. So when you start seeing them get in, as you see by these big volume spikes, they are telling you that they're trying to push the stock price higher. They trying to push this puppy higher because they are coming in heavy, hot and heavy with huge volume, pushing this price higher in the future. So what I like about Applegee is that it pays a dividend. If you look right here, you'll see the dividend percentage right here on my favorite website, finviz.com. They pay a three and a half percent dividend payment. Now dividends are very important because dividends keep stock prices stable. They kind of stabilize a stock price because of the dividend that's paid. So in other words, as the stock price goes down in value with this dividend being paid to you once every three months, it can offset some of the losses that you would have if you just bought the stock outright from another company that did not pay a dividend. So this dividend can serve as a buffer between you actually losing money, keeping you from losing money, because when the stock price goes down, the dividend will still be paid. Now, just for people that don't know, a dividend is basically just money that a company pays you as an investor to invest with their company. So a dividend is a good thing. Basically, it's like free money, by the way. And once again, this is a number one ranked stock. I see right now in my notes that I'm looking at, it says that earnings are up over 34 percent earnings in this company has risen 34 percent this year and if you look right here the eps for next year which is the earnings per share for next year is expected to rise over eight percent we have a price target on applegee at 29 dollars and 75 cent Right now, the price is at $21.34. Now, by the way, if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to buy Applegee or, for that matter, any other stock at a discount to what's being traded for this particular stock today. So right now, the stock's price is $21.34. I'm going to show you a way that you can possibly get it for cheaper than what it trades today. So check out this little puppy. If you're looking for something to put money into, check out this little puppy by the name of Applegee Enterprises Incorporated. That's the first little puppy I want to introduce you guys to. Now, the second little puppy goes by the name of Pager Duty Incorporated. Now, I got a few notes about them as well. Pager Duty Incorporated is based out of San Francisco, California, out of San Francisco. So I'm going to go to Yahoo Finance and read a little bit of the description to give you an idea about what this company does. Page of Duty Incorporated operates a platform for real-time operations in the United States and also internationally. Its platform harnesses digital signals from virtually any software-enabled system or device combines it with human response data and orchestrates teams to take the right actions in real time. Pager Duty Incorporated, in other words, 
This is a company to help other businesses maintain their services before their service goes down. These operations for page duty consists of a platform. They use their IT information, information technology. They use their IT platform to connect all the proper people to fix service issues before the customers of these companies are affected. In other words, they put proper people in this network that fix special issues within companies before those small issues become big issues. So Pager Duty has a network to connect companies and specified people who fix problems with companies all together. So when a problem comes out, Pager Duty can make sure that the proper people are notified to keep small problems from becoming big. In other words, they can connect to Page of Duty to make sure that their businesses continue to flow and function before the customer is affected. Now, at the beginning, I told you guys that I was going to show you a way to buy shares of stock at a cheaper price. Let's look at Page of Duty Incorporated right now. The stock price is $27.63. And if you look, the EPS for the next five years, which is the earnings per share, is expected to grow 30%. Within the next five years, this company is expected to grow. This little puppy is expected to grow 30% in the next five years. Now, right now, the share price is $27.63 a share. So how you can get this at a cheaper price? I'm going to explain it to you. If you look right here, early part of September, you see these little candles. Each one of these candles represent one day of training. You notice these little wicks on the top, these little legs on the top of the candle. When the leg touches that line, which is across from about $25 a share, when the top of that candle touches the line, you notice it immediately goes down. Look at the next day. That little tip, that little leg on the top touches near the $25 mark, and it immediately goes down. That little area right there where those wicks touch at that $25 mark are areas of resistance. Stocks trade on levels. They trade on areas of resistance and they trade on areas of support. Now this is an area of resistance being that that little leg pushes the stock price down. But if you notice right here, you see it turn green and then it starts to test that area of resistance. Then it comes back down and then it turns green which means that people are buying it. Now look at this right here. This is very important. This is a big green candle. All this is one day. Each candle represents one day's trading. But this big green candle is important because it broke through that area of resistance right near this $25 mark. As you see right here, these little legs, they didn't break through. They would retreated in price and it got cheaper. And as people started to buy, the price started to go up. And on this big green candle day, it broke through that area of $25 resistance. And now that area that used to be resistance right here is now support. Once the stock's price breaks through a resistance area, that resistance is now a new level of support. Stocks generally try to come back down to retest that area of support that used to be resistance. So my advice to you is to wait until this stock starts to come down. Wait for the stock to go red on a day and watch it fall. When it starts to fall near this $25 mark, you can set a limit order in your trading account. That way you can buy it at $25 a share even though it's trading at $27.63. Put that limit order in place and have it stay in place until this stock does what we call retrace. Eventually, it's a good chance that it'll come back down and retrace this area of what used to be resistance and now is support. 
So you can be there to catch that stock at around $25 a share, just like a punt. Now we're gonna go back to Applegate Enterprises. Applegate Enterprises is trading at $21.34. But if you look right here in March, you see that big green candle, it broke through another resistance area at around $15 a share. So what usually happens at some point, being that it broke through this resistance of $15, this stock will probably try to retrace. Now this was in March and here we are in October and it still has not retraced. Sometimes these things don't happen right away. But my advice to you to buy Applegate at a discount you can set you a limit order, just like we did with Page of Duty, around the $15 to $17 mark. Because once this stock price goes red, this candlestick goes red and that price comes down, I will be right there, like I said before, to catch this stock like a punt. Right around the price of $15 to $17, right where it finally broke through that resistance area. As I say before, a resistance area when broken acts as a support area in the future. And stocks generally trade on levels and once this reverses and goes lower, it's a good chance that it'll fall near that $17 to $15 price. So that is how you buy stocks that you are interested in, how you can buy these little puppies at a cheaper price. I'm the one known as the stock dude, and I thank you guys for coming by, and I hope that y'all come back now you're here. I'm the one known as the stock dude. I'll holler at you later.